So I just got off a call with a, a guy I knew from school, from growing up, and uh, he wanted to explain to me how uh, he's involved in WhatsApp gifting and why he thinks that uh, it's, it's not a bad thing. And he's not a bad person. But while I was talking to him, I realized that um, a lot of people, in his case, he didn't really understand what his reputational responsibility was because he'd made the big promise to people he's recruited. And I'm not sure if people who are doing this realize what they're reputationally responsible for when making these promises because you're promising each person at least 5,000 rand profit. So he estimates he's uh, brought in about 20 people. He's made about 15,000. He's put about 3,000 back into it. And I said to him, you've brought in 20 people, each with the expectation of making 5,000 rand profit. Do you know that you are reputationally responsible for 100,000 rand based on what you promised? And I don't think he, he thought about it that way until I said it, right? Because I could feel that, like, the numbers, when they when you actually blow them up, you start realizing, wow, there's, there's, like, there's lots of money that's expected here. But here's the problem. How do you get 100,000 rand to pay these 20 people that have come into the scheme? Well, let, let's look at it this way. Let's say those 20 people now have to go find other people to contribute. How much would they need to... Find, how many people would they need to find to get to 100,000 Rand? <sighs> Let's say they each recruited half of what he did. So 10 each. So 10 times 20 uh, is 200. 200 times 1,000 Rand each is 200,000. There we go. We got 100,000. Each of them gets paid. Uh, and then we got 100,000 over. Some of them get paid twice for maybe bringing in more people or other people in their, in their hierarchy. They get paid. Now you've got 200 people that have joined at 1,000 rand each, all with the expectation of making 5,000 rand profit. So you've got 200 people, 5,000 rand profit expectation. That is 1 million rand. <laughs> That's 1 million rand. 200 people, 5,000 rand profit. 1 million rand that needs to be paid out. How do you, how do you raise 1 million rand? In this scheme, to raise 1 million rand, you need a thousand people, each giving a thousand rand. There you go, right? So they, those two hundred people, go out and they find, they go find a thousand people. Those thousand people come in, give their one thousand, but those those one thousand people now have their own expectations of each making five thousand rand profit. So that's one thousand people times five thousand rand profit. That's five million rand. Five million rand. How do you raise five? million rand those 1000 people will have to go find 5000 people at a thousand rand each which will then give us the 5 million rand that we're looking for but now here's the problem those 5000 people are all expecting profits of 5000 so now the expected payout is 25 million rand that's 25 million rand and this is a small little community scheme i could go on and on and extrapolate and show you why the higher it goes, the more dangerous territory we go into. And people think that it's working and the system's working. It's getting worse. Each level we go deeper, the, the debts or the expected payouts climb and climb and climb. And that's when a pyramid scheme collapses is when it's too high and there's too much money to be paid out and there's not enough people to fill the system. And so those, those videos for those who are recruiting, if you are recruiting people, I want you to at least consider this picture that I'm painting, because I feel like a lot of people have zoned in on their little group and their little operation, and they're not seeing how this, in a bigger, in a bigger picture, is going to affect a lot of people. And it's easy at this point to enjoy it, as with all pyramid schemes, as with all Ponzi's, as with all uh, uh, ladder scams, is that in the beginning it is all fun and games, but it does get really bad. And you can see from 25 million to 100 million these are not real numbers. This money that's coming in, there's no business, there's no product to support it. It's purely people. And because the, the input cost is, cost is so low and the profit's so high, 1,000 and 5,000 rand profit, and you get your 1,000 back, there's no way in the world you'll get those returns. This is going to end badly, but it can end <sighs> early. If that makes sense. It will still be badly, but the longer we go on with this, the worse the end will be.